Hi guys, this is Mohan Kaushik and I'm working as a research associate in Leap Robots. So I'm here today to explain you about artificial intelligence and robotics. So you might have heard about robotics from the previous video and it was explained by Rupak, my colleague. So you might have heard about robotics from our last uh, video and uh, today I'm here to continue the robotic concepts. So let's start with the robotic arm which you have learnt about in the last, uh, last video. So as you've seen in the last video, this we need to program every part in the robotics uh, in robotics if we want to control the robotic arm. But when it comes to artificial intelligence, what we do is it's just like we don't need to have a hard written program when we need to walk somewhere. We just know where we need to go and we walk there. So this it's the same with robot uh, robotics. What you need to do is uh, suppose it's here and it has to pick the mouse. It automatically sees where the mouse is and it goes near the mouse and it holds the mouse. Suppose in robotics if we need to do that, we need to hard code everything and we need to know the location of the mouse. In artificial intelligence, we don't need to. The robot actually does know the location. And the major difference in artificial intelligence and robotics comes in with the servos part. In robotics, we need to give the angle for each servo for each step if we need to uh, for it to move. Uh, in the last video, you've seen the working of this. So in that, it moves in this way or uh, this way. In robotics, we uh, we design the movement path of the robot. In artificial intelligence, we just give the end point and the start point of the robot and it moves, it designs its path on its own. So that is what artificial intelligence is different from robotics. You don't control the robot, it moves on its own, just like we do. So I've just explained to you the difference between robotics and artificial intelligence. So how to combine these two and how to make sure that they work really well. Let's get into that. So this is an autonomous robot which uh, we are designing. This is an autonomous robot which we are designing. So the thing, uh, okay, so this is a Raspberry Pi and it, this is the brain of our uh, robot. Raspberry Pi is really common in uh, daily projects and it is really useful for uh, building some projects. In this project, this is the brain and this contains a uh, X Ubuntu OS uh, and we have our codes in the OS which we can control through our laptop. So let me t explain you how the robot works. So the Raspberry Pi is a micro computer. So it's basically a laptop without a keyboard, without a monitor, without a mouse and it has some ports which are called GPIO pins which we can use to connect it to sensors or uh, actuators. So the Raspberry Pi which uh, in this we are not connecting it to a monitor because we don't have enough uh, space on the robot. So we can directly connect it through Wi-Fi to the system and we connect these mo uh, uh, motor driver actuators to the Raspberry Pi so that it gets power. So let's uh, Let's send it for the brain and come to the actuators. These are the actuators which we have. These are motors which, uh, which we go forward and backward. And we have one sensor on board uh, which is an ultrasonic sensor uh, uh, mounted on a servo. So the use of this is it measures the distance all over. Uh, it, it has a program written uh, where this uh, the servo rotates and the ultrasonic sensor measures the distance all around. So this is used where uh, it rotates and it maps all, uh, all around the room and once it stores the data, it, uh, it stores the data in a format called laser scan. Once it stores the data, the, it stores it in the map uh, permanently. Unless you change the map or something, it, uh, it already has the map in its memory and it can navigate automatically for the next time. Okay, so we might have a doubt what is the difference between the object avo uh, obstacle avoider and a autonomous navigation robot. So there's a, there is a difference. Normal obstacle avoidance, we hard code the robot uh, such that if there's an obstacle, it either needs to turn right or left. So in an autonomous robot, if there's an obstacle here, which is new, and this obstacle is already registered in the robot's memory, what it does is, it, since it already knows that there's an obstacle here, Instead of turning right, it turns left and goes left. In a, a normal ro in a normal robot, what it does is, if it if it is hard coded to turn right, it turns right. It realizes that there's an obstacle, and it turns right again, which is not 
a good way of uh, traveling and suppose in if there are moving uh, objects in the room like a human it automatically detects the human stops if the if the human is a obstruction and after the human passes its uh, path it then moves again just like if this is moving it stops and and then later it goes away so that is the advantage of uh, advantage of autonomous navigation and none of this is controlled by a human it is all, uh, all controlled by the brain of the robot so you might wonder wh where this is used in our daily lives okay it is not used right now but this is the future there is a possibility of uh, using it in autonomous cars and it is already being researched in the other countries so in autonomous car obviously we won't use these sensors we, we have a special sensor called lidar which continuously ma uh, takes the data of its obstacles all around 360 degrees so since it is it has all 360 degrees it immediately knows if there's something in its radius and it avoids the obstacle this is used in autonomous cars this is used in autonomous uh, drones and this is even used in swarm robotics so basically uh, swarm robotics is like a bunch of robots like 100 or 1000 robots which coordinate among themselves and move without colliding and move in a coordinated manner to do a certain work uh, we might have seen them in some movies like there are autonomous uh, swarm robots in uh, big hero 6 animation movie and there are some in other movies also this is also a really emerging field which is used in medical surgeries too so i have told you about this robotics but obviously we can't use the robot everywhere uh, to test it to test our code everywhere so we have an option in our system called gazebo where you can uh, use simulation uh, techniques and see if the robot is working well uh, i'll show you that right now so this is our uh, simulation uh, model which is made in uh, arvis this model is designed through a code called urdf and this we can uh, use the simulation in a software called gazebo which i'll show you uh, now so this is the gazebo and this is our robot model in gazebo so we control this robot right now with a keyboard right now it is with keyboard in the future it will be with uh, uh, it will be autonomous so let's see the robot moving around yeah the robot is moving forward because i'm pressing w which is forward and now it will turn left it is turning left it is slow because i put the velocity of the robot slow but you can observe it slowly and it it can move backward with us yeah it is moving backward and in this way we can control our robot in the future we can also add obstacles here and uh, because we have added obstacles and we, have, uh, we are taking the sensor information from the obstacles in this gazebo it detects the path in arvis like uh, the obstacles appear in arvis which are uh, which uh, come from the sensor data in arvis if we don't have sensor data we can't work on anything but if we have sensor data we get a map of the room so this is an example of an autonomous robot so it has a camera here which is used for capturing any photos and it has uh, uh, three omnidirectional wheels omnidirectional mean uh, wheels mean normal wheels just go forward and backward but omnidirectional wheels go in four directions they can even go just uh, sideways so that is the advantage of omnidirectional wheels which, uh, which are really useful in rough terrains so in this we we use it for autonomous navigation and if we tell it a uh, point in a uh, coordinate system it directly goes to that point this is a uh, example but which but we can do uh, much more with these there are uh, uh, mars rovers uh, being made with autonomous uh, autonomous navigation and lidar 
there are autonomous cars being made and there are many many things being made with a uh, ai so ai is the future so i hope you like this explanation on ai and autonomous navigation and if you have any queries or doubts about this please comment uh, comment in the comment section thanks for watching the video and do subscribe to advice